the session and instruction will be given at that time. If anyone should require assistance during the call, please press star and zero on your touchstone telephone. As a reminder, this conference call is being recorded. I would now like to turn the conference over to our host, Eric Frazier. Sir, you may begin. Good morning and welcome to the Power Is Now teleconference. It's another fantastic day in Southern California, just a few days from the vote, and I hope everyone will get out there and vote. Uh, but a fantastic opportunity this morning to talk about repositioning yourself or how you are positioning yourself for 2011 with Jay Keister, the president of Infinity National Asset Management. My name is Eric Frazier, and I'm the host of the Power Is Now teleconference and the president of the Orange County Association of Real Estate Brokers. And please go to OCAREB.org and check out this dynamic organization, a chapter of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. I am also the branch manager for Wells Fargo Home Mortgage North Orange County Markets. Once a week, I conduct this teleconference, but every day, I am leading a team of dynamic home consultants, home mortgage consultants, who serve this market and branches throughout North Orange County. They are the most professional, the most knowledgeable people that you can work with in the industry. Seriously, folks, we call ourselves the Do It Now team because we work with a sense of urgency, and I'm very, very proud to lead this team. The number of reason, one of the reasons why. It's important to use Wells Fargo, consider Wells Fargo uh, from maybe other competitors out there, is our close on time guarantee. I mean, there are perhaps a number of uh, value propositions that Wells Fargo has to offer, but the Wells Fargo close on time guarantee is an unprecedented commitment to service and closing a real estate transaction on time. There is nothing like it in the industry, folks. First-time home buyers are the least who can afford uh, the expenses associated with closing a transaction on time, you have the per diems, you have the extended uh, having to pay to extend their lease, you have overtime to movers, and the list goes on and on, and all the costs associated when your transaction doesn't close on time. And so the Wells Fargo guarantee is just that, a guarantee, an absolute commitment in writing that we will close your transaction on time, and if not, we will make the borrower's first month's principal and interest payment. And, of course, it has to be a problem on our end. It has to be a capacity issue, or maybe we made a mistake, or something came up where we could not deliver on time. Well, again, there is not a lender in town that's making such an offer. And I think we owe it to our clients, especially our first-time home buyers, uh, to provide them this added insurance so that they know that they're working with a lender that not, that's not just saying we'll close on time, but we're putting our money where our mouth is, and we are closing on time, or we're stepping up to the plate and doing the right thing to help the consumer uh, defer some of the costs associated when the transaction doesn't go uh, and doesn't close on time. Please consider using one of my team members on your next transaction, and you can get a hold of any one of our members on the team at the team website, the Do It Now Team, the Do It Now Team dot com. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you and your clients. And if you're out of the area, please go to Wells Fargo Mortgage. Let's say Wells Fargo dot com forward slash mortgage, and get in contact with a local mortgage consultant. And I promise you will not be disappointed. The phrase, the power is now, suggests that we maximize our potential for success in business and life when we act on information and opportunities now. The present is our future because the future is only a reflection of our past decisions to act now. The Power is Now teleconference is a series of conference calls designed to empower our real estate agents to sell more homes, to expand their business of buyers and sellers, to be well informed about changes in lending, the market, the economy, government programs, anything that may affect your clients and your business. Please email me at eric.fraser at wellsfargo.com and let me know what you think about the teleconference and how the program can continue to support your needs. I really appreciate the wonderful feedback and the suggested topics we receive from all of you. Last week, we had Ed Delgado. Ed Delgado is the CEO of the Five Star Institute, and he just did a fantastic job on the mortgage ice age. He talked about the state of the union, the economy, existing home inventories. It was just a great economic seminar. We all sat at the foot, or at the feet, that is, of Ed Delgado last week and really learned a lot about what's happening and where he sees the future for real estate, particularly with our current inventories and what's on 
the horizon with foreclosures. So if you missed that call, just drop me an email. Or in fact, you can go to uh, facebook.com forward slash the power is now, facebook.com the forward, forward slash the power is now, and you can actually download the recording now and listen to what Ed Delgado has to say. So I really appreciate, Ed, for reaching out to us. Please consider uh, attending the Five Star Conference, one of the largest uh, conferences for, for default services in the nation. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Today on the call is Jay Keister. He's the president of Infinity National Asset Management. He began his career with Bank of America as a business development officer and then went to San Diego National Bank. In 2001, Mr. Keister obtained his California real estate broker's license and opened a mortgage and real estate company, quickly becoming one of the largest producers in San Diego, California. In 2005, Mr. Keister opened a mortgage and real estate company in Salt Lake City, uh, Utah, and in 2006, he opened a real estate company in Phoenix, Arizona. During this time, Mr. Keister also served on the board of directors of SDIC, a commercial a real estate company, and was the chairman of the audit committee, helping to go public through a reverse merger. In 2006, as the real estate market began to collapse, Mr. Keister changed the focus of his businesses to loss mitigation. And in 2008, he launched two additional businesses. The first one is Infinity National Asset Management, and the website for that is infinitynational.com, primarily servicing local and regional banks, credit unions, and servicing companies. This gave Mr. Keister the hands-on experience and the detailed uh, servicing of pre-foreclosed and post-foreclosed properties. Mr. Keister coined the term bank-directed short sales in early 2008, a more efficient system to get assets off the books before they become REO. Once California passed SB 1137, Mr. Keister launched an SB 1137 compliance program to ensure existing clients were kept in compliance and free from lawsuits. Then he formed National Valuation Standards Institute. The website address is nvsinstitute.com an educational institute created to standardize uh, the way BPOs, broker price opinions, are performed and analyzed. NVSI is also the only uh, organization to define the detailed specifics on how BPO is to be performed and analyzed. And since its inception, it has received great reviews and support from real estate agents and asset managers because it has made their job easier to perform and provides accurate results. Since the launch of Infinity National and NVSI, Mr. Keister has been very involved in education. He has spoken and ran several training programs for the California Credit Union Collectors Council and written various articles and white papers in www.cucollector.com. Mr. Keister has also trained thousands of agents on various topics from VPOs to taking advantage of commercial REO business. He has been very involved in helping NAREP, ARIA, WINS, and other realtor associations. Mr. Keister's great motivation for excellence and achievement is derived from his family. He often performs with his wife and six children, that's six children, three boys and three girls, at various church and civic events in either dance, song, or both. It's, it's often a musical uh, around the house, says Mr. Keister. So, Jay, thank you for being on The Power Is Now today. Pardon me, Mr. Frazier. I have Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez as connected. Oh, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, uh, it's time to get out the vote. We have, to, we have got to get to the polls and uh, take advantage of our right uh, to vote in this country, especially those of you who are uh, members of minority trade associations and women. I mean, at one point, we couldn't even vote. So it just blows me away how people just ignore the opportunity to get out and vote. And I, I ask Loretta Sanchez, Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, who is is a friend and supporter of the Orange County Association of Real Estate Brokers to join us and just to talk a few minutes about the campaign. Loretta, thanks for jumping in. Jay, if you don't mind, we're going to have Loretta speak for just a few minutes before we continue our show. But, uh, Loretta, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. How is the campaign going? 
Well, as you know, we've run a positive campaign, and we're continuing to be very optimistic about winning this election. And I believe that if good people come to vote and exercise that power, that we will win, and that good people will be in the Congress, and we can continue the work that we've been trying to do to save people's homes, uh, upgrade homes, get people in, keep families together. So I'm actually very optimistic that people um, they just need to know the importance of, of exercising their vote. So we're trying to get that message out. Well, you're doing that, and uh, I know it's a tough race right now. You have a fierce competitor out there, but we're confident we're going to win. Uh, what would be, say, one key thing you think that uh, realtors out there who are listening to this call really need to know about you and why they should give you their vote? Well, you know, we have worked very hard um, in the incentive programs that we put in. First of all, as you know, there's an attack on the home de uh, mortgage deduction, and we've continued to fight to keep that in. Um, we put in many of the programs. We put in the neighborhood housing stabilization funds to keep neighborhoods up as, as people were facing foreclosures. Even before foreclosures began, I could see there was a bubble going on, and um, uh, we started to hold forums in our communities to get people to bring in. We called it Know Your Note, and we did it in relationship with uh, brokers and realtors and, and, and had people bring in and, and bring in their paperwork because, they, you know, half the time people don't really know what they're signing um, when, they're, we're, when they're buying property. And so we had them bring it in, and we were able to unwind some of them out before, it was, before credit f was frozen and before people could actually get loans. And, of course, we continued to push for um, there to be a secondary market for uh, mortgage loans so that uh, people can have access to, to financing so they can purchase homes. So I think, uh, you know, when you look at the fact that we've been working very hard with our construction and our housing and our building industry, um, that, that we've been on your side because we know you've been on the side of the people to keep them in homes and to keep them safe and united. So I just want to thank everybody who's been working very hard through these very tough times. Well, Loretta, we want to thank you for your, you know, unwavering, untiring service and commitment to our community. And um, you have our vote um, and our endorsement from the Orange County Association of Real Estate Brokers, and uh, we will be at the polls in force and, uh, and, and voting for you and hoping that you will have the victory. I'm confident you will have the victory. Right. Uh, well, you know, I, I have the pleasure of presenting Anaheim Garden Grove, Santa Ana, and Fullerton, so any of you who have uh, friends, clients, family, if you live there, let people know. A lot of people don't even know the election's just around the corner. They've been so busy trying to save their homes or making sure their kids are, are in school or trying to hold on to their jobs. So whatever you all can do, they believe you before they believe me. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? So, uh, yes. Well, for sure. Uh, we're, we're getting the word out, and, um, and uh, we're encouraging all our families and friends and our associates, and uh, I'm happy to use this platform to give you a voice uh, to speak to. The power is now listeners. Folks, get out there and vote uh, and support uh, your local representative. And if you're in uh, Orange County, Loretta Sanchez. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure to be on your uh, show. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome, Loretta. Bye-bye Bye. now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, and again, I really encourage you all to get out there and vote. So, Jay, thanks for that pause uh, for Congresswoman oh. Sanchez. <laughs> So it's not too often we get a congresswoman to join our show, and we're very happy to have her on just for a few minutes. So, Jay, we, uh, I read your bio, and um, I tell you, one of the things that sticks out about you is that you ought to be able, you're really in position to kind of relate to what realtors and even lenders are going through, having owned a real estate company and a, a mortgage company. So uh, I'm, I'm certain that you feel our pain, and oh, yeah. you know what our needs are right now as real estate professionals and building our businesses and trying to find, you know, a path that we can stay on to be successful in 2011. So before we get into how you are positioning yourselves in 2011, I just